Live from the MVG Production Studios, it's time for Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? And now, here's the Teacher of the Year, your host, Brandon Scrubs. Hey guys, what's going on with you? It's your boy, be back with you once again for another edition of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join me here once again. Well, we're back in the classroom and we got another student here that is ready to tackle our quiz to see if his brain capacity is better than that of a 10-year-old. So let's meet our student now, coming to us from the great state of OH. I O. It's Mr. Kevin Henry. What's going on, Kevin? How uh, do you put me in the hot seat where I'm used to putting others in the hot seat as host of Gold Rush? But I figured I'd try this, uh, I figured I'd try this side for once. <laughs> Well, as, as I've asked everyone else who uh, has played this game before, where did you go to elementary school at? Uh, incidentally, I actually went to several different ones since my family moved us around quite a bit. I started out at uh, Miami Trace, which was um, in Jeffersonville, Ohio. The high school was in Washington Courthouse. Yes, it's actually called Washington Courthouse. Huh. Um, okay. Went to... Went to uh, and then moved from there to McGregor Elementary in Rochester, Michigan. From there to St. Andrews Catholic in Delavan, Wisconsin. And then uh, finally, Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Grove City, Ohio, right outside of Columbus. And landed at Taze Valley in Asheville, Ohio. That's my uh, elementary school career, if you will. Wow, so you went to four different schools in the process of like six years? Uh, yeah, give or take. <laughs> wow, that's a, I was going to say, so yeah, you can't really claim one if you've been the four of them, but all right. Well, uh, but you know, of, of, of all the schools I went to, if I could have chosen one from the ones I just mentioned, I would, uh, I would have stuck with Miami Trace, but that was not up to me. Gotcha. Makes makes perfectly reasonable sense. All right, so, well, let's see how much of that childhood education you can seem to remember as you try to tackle our quiz and try to win yourself a million dollars. You ready to go? Let's give it a shot. All right, let's see if Kevin Henry is smarter than a fifth grader. I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? All right, let me tell you how we play this little game. On the board, you're going to see ten subjects. They range from the first grade through the fifth grade. Your first correct answer is worth $1,000. If you get the tenth question correct, it is worth $500,000. You answer all ten of these, and we'll give you an additional grade school question that will be worth one million dollars. Let me tell you how your classmates can help you. You have two cheats. You may peek at your classmates' paper. If you like their answer, you can go with it, or you can go with your own. You have one copy, which means you must take the answer that your classmate has written down. And once during the game, they can save you, which means if you have the wrong answer, but your classmate has the right answer, you're saved, you get to keep the money and advance in the game. And finally, if at any point during the test it proves to be too much, you can drop out of school and take the money that you've bankrolled. Let's meet your classmates. Amanda, Cynthia, Joseph, Edward, and Logan. Pick a classmate and let's get started. All right. All right. There's well, the, there's the rules. There's the explanation. Who are you going to start with? Let's go with Cynthia. Cynthia, all right, you're up, my dear. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. All right, there's your ten subjects there. You can go in any order that you choose. Where would you like to start? What looks good to you? I like I like a lot of these, actually. Um, so let's just go, uh, let's, let's work my way up. Let's begin with first grade math. First grade math, all right. Should be an easy one. I would hope. Here is our first grade question. This one's for $1,000. Which of the following numbers is the biggest? 9687, 
9676 or 9786. All right. I will go with 9876 and lock that in. All right. You got that one right, and you didn't even have to cheat. There you go. You're on the board. You got $1,000. Not my thing, cheating. Well, that's an easy Pick another subject. Well, that's an easy one. Well, this is the one game you're allowed to cheat, and it's okay. It's built into the yep. game. All right, you got $1,000. Let's go for $2,500 on this next one. All right, well, it's not my strongest suit, mind you, but it's got to be relatively easy. Let's go with first grade animal science. All right, first grade animal science. For $2,000, here is the question. I'm sorry, it was a $2,000 question here. That's okay. All right, true or false, Kevin? The following picture is an image of a dinosaur called a Triceratops. That is wildly false. Lock that in. Lock it in. It's amazing how useful some of the stuff like a turns out to be. Yeah, not there's actually a paleosaur. Yeah, paleosaurus. Pair, yeah, Your something or other. Can yeah. only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. Yeah, two questions per student here, so you got to pick a new classmate now to help you. Okay, well, I can't see his name uh, next to Cynthia, so I'll uh, go with that dude. Uh, I think it's Richard there. Let's leave. pick a subject. All right. So you get All right. Here? Yeah, all right. Where would you like to go now? Now let's go to a, a category I do like, second grade U.S. history. Second grade U.S. history. All right. I like history. Here is our second grade question. This one's for $5,000 here. What crop did the Native Americans teach pilgrims to grow? Wheat, beans, potatoes, or corn? Ooh, that's relatively tough. Um, I don't think it was potatoes. I'll bet your favorite subject was lunch, wasn't it? Well, I did. I, I, I like lunch most days, Jeff. <coughs> no kidding. Who did? But anyway, don't forget, you still have all your cheats left. You know, it, it's early on, and for some reason, this is not coming to me. I'm going to give it my you best shot, right and now, if I'm wrong, I can get off. saved. So I'm going to go with wheat and lock that in. Uh, wheat, lock it in. All right. I don't know what took you so long to come up with that answer, but I do know that it's wrong. Time to find out if the fifth grader knows the answer. Never underestimate the power of fifth graders. Uh, you okay. Go. You were saved. The correct answer was corn. Yeah, Pick it, another subject. It's what allowed the pilgrims to survive their first winter here once they made landfall here in the United States. So the corn was a big, uh, was a big, much needed crop because it could survive colder temperatures. And for that, which is why it's right, and you've got $5,000. I'll take it. All right. But your save is now gone, so you are on your own from this point out. So you got the peak, you've got the copy, and you've got another subject to tackle. So where, where to? Let's go with second grade animal science. Let's get that out of the way. All right. Second grade animal science. Here is our second grade question. This is for $10,000 on this one. Up here on the chalkboard. True or false? The following animal is cold-blooded. Uh, I'm trying to remember if... I'm pretty sure fish are cold-blooded, so I'll say true. Lock that in. Not true. Lock it in. You got that one right, and you didn't even have to cheat. There, there we go. go. You got it. You got $10,000. Now, the idea here is to pick someone smarter than you to be your classmate. So, any of these kids ought to do fine. <laughs> I'm well. mad at that. All right, Joseph, Logan, or Amanda? Well, you know, kids being smarter than me, well, my own son is, that's for sure. Let's go with uh, Joseph. Joseph. All right, Joe, you are up. Let's pick a subject. And I should remind you as well, this next question, if you get it right, you will leave with no less than $25,000 on this. All right. Let's go with uh, third grade U.S. geography. All right. For $25,000, here's the question. A third grade question, huh? Well, let's see what it is. What 
The state's nickname is the Equality State. Montana, Colorado, Wyoming, or Utah? The Equality State. Um, let's see. You know, this question is normally answered by eight-year-olds. I'm by process of elimination. I'm going to go with. Gosh, I hope this is right. Why opening and lock it in? Well, like I said, don't be afraid to use your cheats here because this is an important one. Because if you miss this, you're walking out of here with absolutely nothing. You can win ten thousand dollars. I'm feeling out. pretty good by process of elimination. Or you actually? I'm a. Or actually, yeah, I forgot about the odd option as well. Here, you go. You if you don't want to risk it. You could stop right now and just take the ten thousand you've got. I can see this is gonna take a little while. Yeah, not. Yeah, I'm not gonna drop out this time. I'm gonna go with Wyoming. I feel good about this. I'm gonna lock that in. Wyoming's locked in. Here we go. After only a few short hours of deliberation, you got the right answer. There you go. You got it. Well done. You will not leave here with less than $25,000 now. No matter what happens from this point on, the worst you can do is win $25,000. All right. So back to the board we Pick go. Another subject. I'm going to go for a $50,000 question now. Let's go with uh, Let's go with one I feel really good about, fourth grade spelling. Fourth grade spelling. All right. For $50,000, here is the question. Question on this one is: How many times does the letter R appear in the following phrase? Regional library. All right. How many times does the letter R appear in the following phrase? Regional library. Regional library. Did I hear that correctly? Yes. Regional library and is you the first. Filling out the forms at the D of okay. The regional D. has one R. Library has two more. Don't Give forget, us a total of three. So I'll say three left. and lock that in. Lock it in. All right. You won't be getting any extra points for speediness, but you got the right answer. There you go. You got it. $50,000. Not bad. All right. Doing well. It's time to decide which one of these young scholars you want to be your classmate. All right. Logan or Amanda? Logan, bring it on, big boy. All right, Logan's up here. Let's pick a subject. You've got four subjects left. Fifth grade, animal science, fifth grade, health, fourth grade, U.S. geography, and third grade, social studies. Where to? All right, let's go with third grade, social studies. All right, go on here. You're playing for $100,000. Here's the question. True or false? Ohio was one of the original 13 colonies. I sure hope to God you don't miss this one, being that it's, you're from Ohio. It is absolutely, unequivocally false. Would you and like I will gladly lock that in. You got that one right. There you go. $100,000. <laughs> Couldn't have been easier. I was about to say, if you got that Pick one wrong, subject. you would be evicted from your state so quickly. No question. No. Ohio was uh, formed in 1803, uh, long after the colonies were already established. Yeah. So I was about to say, you were, you were probably in the first 20, but yeah, 13, absolutely not. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So... Three questions left. This next one is for $175,000. Well, hopefully I'll get another Ohio question with fourth grade U.S. geography. Wouldn't that be great? Would that not be something? Again, I would love that. By the way, folks at home, the questions are completely chosen at random by the game, so I have no influence on this whatsoever. But let's Nor see what fourth U.S. geography has here. Here comes All the right, question. All right, for $175,000, can we see the question, please? All right, question here is, what is the southernmost U.S. state? Again, what one of these is the southernmost U.S. state? California, Florida, Hawaii, or Texas? And for once, I, I was expecting this to be a little harder, but this is actually a slam dunk for me. Florida. Miss Florida. You lock it in. Florida. You're going to lock it in? 
feel really good about this. Yep. Don't forget, you still have all your cheats left. Well, you took your time and really thought about that question, and then you answered it wrong. Yeah, Wait. I'm sorry. Yeah, Hawaii, believe it or not, is actually about five degrees, uh, 400 miles south further than Florida is. Wow. Well, it looks like you're on your own here. You've got $25,000. I'll just take it. It was a fun time. We'll see you again next time. Yeah, but you know what you got to do now. Yes, I do. The mic's in front of you. Go ahead. My name is Kevin Henry, and while I am the only one of seven siblings to graduate high school, I am not smarter than a fifth grader. Go uh, Warriors. All right. Good sport, Kevin. $25,000 for him. And another successful, at least something, walked away with something, which is better than nothing in this case. So we got another $25,000 winner. Haven't been able to give away the million in a bit. We'll have to try next time here because we're out of time here in the classroom. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Remember, if you like this series and want to see more of it, check out the entire playlist here on the channel. And if you want to subscribe to other great game shows like this, past, present, or future, click the subscribe button down below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. And for Kevin Henry, I'm your host, Brandon Scruggs, saying thank you so much for watching. And until we take the test once again, class is dismissed. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.